Hi, I'm Danny with MyTwoWayRadios.com. In earlier videos, we talked about the VRN7500 smartphone controlled radio from VGC, and we've gone more in depth with the Android app. Now, we're going to check out the iOS app. We'll download and install it, sync it with the radio, and take a look at the most common features. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start by installing the app on this iPhone. Um, unlike the Android app, the uh, iPhone app is actually listed in the App Store, so that makes installation much, much easier. Um, to install the app, we start by going in the App Store and then search for the app BS Space HT. That's the name of the VGC app. And um, once you find it, you'll click the Get button, and that will install the app on your phone. All right, first off, we need to pair the radio with the phone. So when we first launch the app on the phone, um, it's going to start searching for a radio. So uh, we need to put the radio into pairing mode, and to do that, with the radio on, we're going to double press the power button, and that will activate pairing mode. Okay, you're going to see the red and green lights flash on the front of the radio. That indicates we're in pairing mode, and you immediately see the device pop into the app. So all we need to do is click it, and it's going to connect the app to the radio. We're paired. The, you're going to see uh, the app automatically load all the channels from the radio. And you see the current selected channel is 7 here, 432.075. Um, that's the frequency of this channel. Um, what it will show actually on the front is the uh, channel name, if one is available, or the frequency if one is not. So uh, let me show you how to name a channel uh, or edit other channel settings. What we're going to do is hold down on this channel number for a couple of seconds. And it takes you into the channel editor instantly. You can click the title here and name the channel. And uh, then that name would have shown up on the previous screen. Other things you can set in this channel editor are the RX and TX frequencies. This is where uh, if you wanted to, to um, set up a repeater, those would be different. You can also specify RX and TX um, CTCSS or DCS tones, power, bandwidth, things like that. Um, you'll notice, if you've looked at the Android app video, this, this app is much more limited than the Android app. There's no mapping here. There's no uh, Morse code editor. There's no FM radio. It's basically just um, the option to change channels. Um, and also the option to uh, go in and um, change some settings. If you go into, I click the plus in the upper right hand corner, that takes you to this uh, screen where you can modify the volume, squelch level, mic gain. You can also set the device speaker uh, option. Um, device speaker, when turned on, will mean all the radio, any transmissions or any audio output from the radio comes through your phone speaker. So uh, that is what that does. The um, general settings here allows you to change uh, some <laughs> general settings for the radio, such as the transmit time, hold time, um, mic gain, headphone mode, tone, those types of things. Um, also some peripheral and signaling options uh, that are available here. But um, in general, the iOS app is still very much under development, and as we understand it, the iOS app is going to improve as time goes on, and you'll see more of those Android options show up in this app. But uh, for now, that's uh, pretty much what's available in the iOS app. And that's the iOS app. If you have an Android device, check out that version of this video. To learn more about the VRN7500 or to purchase one, visit our website at buytwowayradios.com. I'm Danny, and thanks for watching.